Have you ever wondered why certain things just look right? Why some paintings are more pleasing to the eye than others? Why some buildings seem to fit perfectly into their surroundings? The answer lies in the power of limits and proportional harmonies. Proportional harmonies are found everywhere in nature, from the spiral patterns of shells to the branching patterns of trees. They have been used by artists throughout history to create visually appealing compositions, and by architects to design structures that are both functional and beautiful. By studying these harmonies, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the natural world, the arts, and the built environment. The golden ratio is a mathematical proportion that has been used in art and architecture for centuries. It is often found in nature, such as in the spiral patterns of seashells and the branching patterns of trees. This proportion is believed to create a sense of harmony and balance that is pleasing to the eye. In art, the golden ratio is often used to create compositions that are visually appealing. For example, many paintings from the Renaissance period were composed using this proportion. In architecture, the golden ratio is used to create buildings that are aesthetically pleasing and structurally sound. Many famous buildings, such as the Parthenon in Greece, were designed using the golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, starting from 0 and 1. This sequence has fascinated mathematicians, artists, and scientists for centuries due to its unique properties and prevalence in nature. One of the most fascinating connections of the Fibonacci sequence is with the golden ratio. The ratio of any two adjacent numbers in the sequence approaches the golden ratio as the sequence progresses. This ratio has been used by artists and architects to create aesthetically pleasing compositions and designs. Nature is full of fascinating examples of proportional harmonies, from the intricate spiral patterns of seashells to the branching patterns of trees. These patterns can be explained by mathematical principles such as the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. The spiral patterns of shells, for example, follow a logarithmic spiral that grows wider at a constant rate. This allows the shell to grow while maintaining its shape and structural integrity. Similarly, the branching patterns of trees follow a fractal pattern that allows them to efficiently transport water and nutrients throughout the tree. The use of proportional harmonies in art has been a recurring theme throughout history, with artists from various periods and styles incorporating this concept into their works. From the balanced compositions of the Renaissance to the dynamic asymmetry of the Baroque, proportional harmonies have played a significant role in shaping the aesthetic appeal of art. One notable example of this is the Neo-Impressionist movement, which emerged in the late 19th century. This style of painting emphasized the use of color and light to create an optical effect, known as pointillism. By using small dots of pure color, the Neo-Impressionists were able to achieve a sense of luminosity and vibrancy that was unmatched by other techniques. However, what is often overlooked is the underlying proportional harmony that governed the placement of these dots. By carefully selecting the size and spacing of the dots, the Neo-Impressionists were able to create a sense of balance and unity within their works, despite their seemingly chaotic appearance. Architecture is not just about creating functional spaces, but also about creating beautiful and harmonious environments that inspire and uplift people. One way architects achieve this is by using proportional harmonies in their designs. Proportional harmonies are based on mathematical ratios and can be found in many architectural styles and periods, from ancient Greek temples to modern skyscrapers. For example, the Parthenon in Athens, Greece, is a classic example of proportional harmony in architecture. Its columns are designed according to the golden ratio, which creates a sense of balance and symmetry that is pleasing to the eye. Similarly, the Taj Mahal in India uses proportional harmonies in its design, with its dome and minarets following the principles of the Fibonacci sequence. In more recent times, architects such as Le Corbusier and Frank Lloyd Wright have used proportional harmonies in their designs to create buildings that are both functional and beautiful. For instance, Le Corbusier's Villa Savoy in France features a facade that is divided into sections using the golden ratio, while Wright's Falling Water House in Pennsylvania uses the Fibonacci sequence in its cantilevered balconies. By understanding the principles of proportional harmonies, architects can create buildings and urban spaces that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functionally efficient and environmentally sustainable. This makes the study of proportional harmonies in architecture an important field for anyone interested in designing the built environment. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.